So, like I was saying about Jeopardy and how he's going to have to approach this match. With Zero, uh, there's rules when you're playing Magneto against Zero, and really, pretty much when you're playing any character against Zero. You're not really trying to hit him, you're just trying to get, not let him be in the position to hit you, and then your hits will come. You see, so Ryan's not gonna, he's not gonna over, overshoot anything. Now that you can't avoid. So now, he made a crucial mistake, he should have x factored much sooner and swung faster. Fortunate thing about this Zero team is that he doesn't need X Factor. Ryan's gonna sit up there and throw blasts as long as he can. He, what, what, what he's trying to do at this point is annoy Zero or poke Zero so he doesn't get a thank you. So he doesn't uh, get that Buster charge. Now the Buster's charge, he's just going to continue with the same game plan. Go, 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 wait. There you go. There you go. Very smart. Very smart. Unfortunately, he cannot get anything. Now, to win this match, you're not going to be able to outzone. Um, Nova's not going to be able to outzone Doom and Sentinel. Sentinel is one of the best assists for Doom. He's able to cover that area in which Doom has problems covering, and that's his ankle. That's his, his knees down. I miss the one Ryan played Doom Severo. He was setting all the time. Yeah, Noah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play Magneto. It was either Doom or Dormammu. Very strong team, but if the match doesn't go right, it, it can go bad real fast. Oh, yeah. If Doom gets caught early and killed, then you're relying on Sentinel and then Dormammu. And I don't really like that team. All right, second match. 1-0, champ. Zero's gonna have to start imposing his will a little bit, doing what Zero players do. Only thing Ryan's trying to do is just annoy him. There you go, now it's time to attack. Well, he attacked wrong. I guess that's what they call commentator's curse, right? Now if his mix-ups are on point, he will get at least four or five opportunities to open him up before Ryan can even do anything. There you go. Jeopardy should win this match. I'm calling it now. If he kills Sentinel, Ryan's gonna Ryan's gonna die. Up oh, to get out of his mix. Make 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 that. If Jeopardy is a normal jump height. So if Jeopardy stays a normal jump height, nope. Oh wow. So Mama's not gonna get a chance to play. We're watching the Zero Show, guys. There you go. Stay tuned for the next episode. There you go. He, he wastes the super to protect himself from the laser. Oh, oh, no confirm. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was one one. Now here comes Jeopardy's best character, which that character is about to die, of course. X Factor that one. We do not care about Iron Man. Because if Iron Man wins this, he deserves to. Jeopardy doesn't need to add any urgency to his game. He just needs to catch his, catch his, his himself and realize what position he's in. It's not like Ryan can really do anything with this team from full screen.
I would say at about 50 seconds, he needs to start having some urgency. There you go. That's why they work so well together. It was 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah. Jeopardy comes from losers to uh, Grand Finals. Very good job for him. Very happy for him. Learned a lot. Um, you know, he learned a lot playing with us, and I learned a lot playing with him, and so on and so forth. I don't know how this is going to work out, but that was not worth it now that he didn't hit us. And that was crazy. He needs to kill their mama by any means necessary. Their mama is dead. Ryan's going for some throw attempts. It's best for him just to play solid. And there you go. And it's your hit. Usually, what you want to do from that is dash cancel out of your X Factor into uh, Crouching C. Because even at max distance, it will connect. Now, Jeopardy can still win this because it's fairly even, if not in Jeopardy's advantage because he has he has the infinite and he can kill the character from any TAC and Ryan doesn't know the infinite and the sentinel so there you go there you go good presence of mind to know that he's already used his ground bounce let's see what he has whatever you do don't do that now, he shouldn't be calling out assists. If he calls out his, his assist, he's making a mistake. That gives Ryan the chance to come back. Uh-oh. Ryan got overzealous, matching buttons. And takes it. I think Jeopardy might need to change it up a little bit. And, and go in and give, you know, but safely and give Ryan something to worry about. Because right now he's not giving Ryan anything to work, work with or worry about. There you go. He's starting to download the match a little bit, realizing what Ryan's going to want to do and not want to do. Very good confirm. Kind of awkward. I, I would have liked to see a standing jab there just in case crouching jab didn't work out. go and punish the, the swing. He might use three bars to kill here because he definitely will use three bars. He might tag Doom back in, but more than likely he did that. Now, Jeopardy's X Factor, level 3, Iron Man is good. He needs to kill this character now. And he did just that. Now, if he gets one more bar, I think he can kill Dormammu. Stay solid. Stay solid. That's it. Oh, wow. He got to the ground? Oh no! Oh, whoa! He needs to go! And he loses. Jeopardy! You gotta go! You gotta just go! Like Plink Dash over, you gotta just go! Because he's gonna throw stuff and put stuff on the screen, and it's just, you gotta go! You gotta take that chance! 